Welcome to the new session. Today we are going to learn about time and calendar. It's an interesting topic, right? So today I'll be teaching you how to see the time, how to calculate the days in a month and to check out when do we have leap year and the sums related to that. Okay? So shall we begin? Okay. So begin, I will be starting with the time. Okay? To begin, I will draw a small clock for you. Okay? So, we will be highlighting the basic four numbers and then starting from here. So, here I have a clock with me. Okay? So, tell me children, when do you wake up in the morning? 7 o'clock? Okay. So, how shall I mention 7 o'clock in the watch here? So, this is my center point, okay, and the small needle will come with 7 and the big needle will come in 12. To make you understand, I am just putting an arrow mark. So, what time is this children? This is 7 o'clock, right? So, you get up at 7 in the morning. Now, tell me, where can you find the small needle? Good, it is at 7. So, my small needle is called as my hour hand. Okay? Because this moves slowly. It takes one hour to move from one digit to another digit. So, my small needle is called as my hour hand. You have this one, the big needle and it is in 12, right? So, my big needle is called as my minute hand. So, the minute hand keeps on moving from one digit to another and it takes 5 minutes to move from one number to another number. Okay? Can you see a blue needle here children? This blue needle is my second R. This is my seconds hand. So, this keeps on ticking. If you see the watch, you can hear that tick, tick, tickling sound, right? Have you ever noticed it? So, this keeps on moving. So, this needle, once it's complete one round, it makes one minute. So, if you see 60 seconds makes my one minute. Okay, then 60 minutes makes my one hour. Okay, and then 24 hours makes my one day. So, in this chapter children, this is the most important thing which we have to understand. Okay. This is a very crucial thing which you need to understand before solving the problem. So, as I said, 60 seconds make my 1 minute, which means that starting from 2, once this 2 completes one full circle and it reaches back to 2, then it makes 1 minute. So, now the needle is in 2, in 12 and once this circle is completed, it will move to 1 digit. Okay? Doesn't mean it will move to 1, it will just complete 1 minute. So, similarly, once it keeps on completing 1-1 one, one circle, then only this needle will move slowly. Okay? And once 60 minutes are completed, then it makes 1 hour. Meaning, this big needle, once it completes the entire circle, the entire rotation, then it becomes 1 hour. So, starting from 12, once this needle completes the full circle and returns back to 12, my 7 will move to 8. Clear children? Then, 24 hours make 1 day. So, starting from 7 o'clock, say morning you get up at 7, right? Now, again if this full completes day and night, how many times can you see the 7 repeated in a day? 
good two times one in the morning and one in the evening right so it take 12 hours to complete one circle so from 7 it takes 12 hours to complete another 7 so it becomes 12 hours right it becomes evening similarly from evening 7 it takes another 12 hours to complete 7 again which is 12 plus 12 is nothing but 24 it takes one full day to complete the circle are you clear children shall we do some timing related to it okay so now i want you to draw 8 am in the clock so how will you draw it tell me yes you will be moving this small needle from 7 to 8 right this will move to 8 so how long will it take to go to 8 o'clock from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock what is the time period we can say it takes 60 minutes or it takes one hour to make one time clear is it clear children shall we do some sums based on this 